Hoyo vs Next title Zenla Zone Zero just had a recent closed beta, and it's actually looking like it's scheduled for a summer release. I finally got the chance to play this game, and boy did I play the heck out of it. In this video, we're gonna break down my first impressions of every aspect of Zenla Zone Zero, from the combat, the story, all the way to the characters and the Gasha system. We're also going to discuss what parts of the game are amazing, as well as where the game needs fast improvement. Let's jump in. In Zenless Zone Zero, your teams are made up of three agents. This will be your team when you engage in any form of combat with the enemy. The baseline will be swapping between these three characters to optimize your damage through your synergy of skills, ultimates, and combo attacks. And here are all of the options that agents can use in a fight. Of course, everyone has their basic attack, and in some cases you can hold down this button to increase the power. Next is the special attack, when the energy meter located here is not full. This is also where character style and elements will come into play. The elements are fire, electric, ice, physical, and ether. There's also an EX version of this special attack. Once you have enough energy, you can launch a much more powerful version of your special attack, and some characters even have built-in mechanics in addition to these specials. Oh, and similar to the basic attacks, you can also hold down some of these for more power. Perhaps the button I hit the most in combat is something everyone in the game can also do, which is a sidestep called a dodge. A very cool thing with this dodge is a lot of moves and additions can be made out of it. The first of these is the dash attack, which is done simply by doing a basic attack right after your dodge. If you dodge with perfect timing against an enemy, you'll activate a dodge counter. Hit the basic attack button after the screen does the slight vignette effect to achieve this counter portion. Next, with at least two agents in your party, when you stagger enemies, a meter will come up in your screen with two characters on the sides, although this will be the same character if you only have the two in the party. This is what's known as a combo attack. In addition, if your character is knocked or staggered, you can do what's called an assist attack, where a character on your team will come out and take over as the active character after doing an entry move. Lastly, when your decibel rating, or the ultimate meter, is maxed, you can press Q to launch a character's ultimate attack. All of these options can synergize very well between characters, and most characters have built-in functionality inside of their kit between their skills, ultimates, and combo attacks. Overall, the combat was one of my favorite parts of Zenless Zone Zero, and we'll dive into it a little bit more later in the video. Now let's talk about the story so far. Don't worry, I won't be spoiling anything here, because I think the story should be enjoyed by everybody once you have a chance to play it. Welcome to New Eridu, the last surviving city after civilization was destroyed by Hollows, which are home to ethereal monsters. Luckily, to help the city grow and prosper, the Hollows have energy and resources that can be extracted. You play as either sibling, Wise, or the better choice, Bell, as a legend legendary level proxy. A proxy is basically just a professional who guides people in their quest to explore the hollows. As you progress through the story, more and more of the cast becomes unlocked to fight the ethereals and traverse the hollows, sort of like a trial period. Without spoiling anything, I've actually super enjoyed the story so far. Even just after chapter 1, there's already a few twists and turns that were relatively unexpected. The story is also how you're going to unlock most of the game and its content, such as Area Zero, the different shops, the Gasha system, etc. I'm personally very excited to try and finish the story throughout this beta and have a good grasp on the lore, since I am such a lore enthusiast. The story gameplay encounters two main game modes. You have the hollow movement as the proxy and the combat as your agents. In the hollow movement, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it's not that bad, it just takes some getting used to, you traverse the puzzle-like TV system to pick up power-ups, unlock collectibles, and overall progress whatever the story objective is. Personally, I'd like to see some improvements to the Hollow gameplay, maybe make it a bit more interesting. The concept of the HDD is cool, but overall, it just seems kind of strange in practice. Comparatively, I really like the combat portion. It's fun, and the difficulty is actually pretty casual. Moving on to another strong point of the game is the cast of characters. All of them really seem to fit into the world of New Eridu, and I like all of them, maybe not whatever this thing is. They all have unique sets of abilities, which flow very well with their own character design in my opinion. And oh my goodness, the animations have been fantastic. I'm actually kind of surprised so far that Billy Kidd is my favorite character. You know that little glitch effect when gunslingers shoot multiple bullets? Yeah, that is super cool. Not to mention all of the voice acting and character polish overall is just very well done as well. Haha! <laughs> Pizza cake! Reloading complete? Round two. <laughs> 
Zenless Zone Zero also features an amazing OST and sound design as well, like the song you're listening to now. As for gaining the characters for use, it's pretty much similar to the other Hoyoverse games, and we will explicitly talk about the Gacha system in the next section. There are currently a total of 14 playable characters, with two more announced on the website, being Miyabi and Zhu Yuan, who both look pretty cool in my opinion. You'll slowly begin to meet all of these characters in the story capacity as you follow the main quest line and progress the chapters. Also included in the story with these characters is a couple of very Persona-esque qualities. In Zenless Zone Zero, there is a trust system, which is akin to the confidant system, and the time progression system where options and activities advance the day forward. But you don't really have to worry too much because the system does seem fairly lax, and I actually haven't missed any of the content. Now let's quickly discuss what the Gasha system looks like and what my worry could be about it. The Gasha system in Zenless Zone Zero is nothing new, and you'll see that it shares a lot of similarities with Honkai Star Rail specifically. Except you have to pull for one more thing with a separate currency. However, the main currency of the game has a great name. It is called Denny's. In comparison to Star Rail, the Star Rail passes are called tapes, and the Stellar Jades, so to speak, are called polychromes. There's a total of four different banners, one being the limited character, one being your stellar, regular, you know, common warp, the Bang Boo banner, which kind of works like an Astro Op from Third Impact, and the Weapon banner, aka W Engines in Zenla Zone Zero. The limited character and W Engine banners take encrypted master tapes, while the departure and standard banners are master tapes. The Bang Boo banner takes another thing called Q pens. And I've actually got a fair bit of these Q pens from just playing the game, so it's very good that it's actually a separate currency. Now for the rates and pity system. For the limited event banner, you get pity at 90 pulls, and the 50 50 chance is back to pull the banner character or the normal 5 stars. If you're like me and you don't win your 50 50s for your waifus, you'll be guaranteed the unit when you get back to the pity or when you roll another 5 star chance. The other banners also have a pity system, albeit at lower total pull values. Something really cool in Zenless is that it shows you what your pity is at as you roll, which is nice, rather than you having to wait or guess. So with what we talked about there, I don't really have any concerns, but now let's talk about my worry for the Gasha system. So far I've gotten through the first part of the game, unlocked most of the content, and it seems that I haven't gotten too many encrypted master tape rolls in total. Obviously there is the Gift of Odyssey, the login event where you do get some encrypted master tapes, but just from doing the story and some side missions, I'm not getting a lot of polychrome that I can convert into it. And obviously the payment pages don't work in the beta, so I can't see if there's a top-up bonus, although I fully expect there to be one similar to Honkai. Obviously this number could change with the full release, but for the limited event banner, at the time of the first chapter I've only run up to 20 to 30 pulls out of the 90 needed for a 50-50. I will say on doing some research, it does seem like you get a fair bit from doing the endgame content, like Shiyu Defense, but that's beyond the scope of this video. But I'll definitely be doing another Zenless Zone Zero video, talking about all of the endgame things once the beta is over and I learn everything there is to know. So hopefully in the full release, the game is a little bit more free to play friendly, as this could be devastating for anyone who doesn't want to spend the cash. I do think the words should be slightly increased, and that's my primary concern for the gacha in this beta. But I mean, if Hoyoverse keeps releasing characters like Nicole Damara, and Grace Howard, then yeah, I'm gonna have to spend my waifu money. Let's also briefly discuss what the endgame looks like without going into too much detail, and we'll save that for a more in-depth video later. The first one is called Hollow Zero, and it's very similar to that of Simulated Universe from Honkai Star Rail. It shares the same roguelike elements, such as when you collect the Rizonia in this game, which is equivalent to Blessings, you can upgrade it when you get four to eight of the same kind, which is basically just the same thing as those Resonance Interplays from Simulated Universe. That roguelike style is also going to be shared with this TV hollow screen gameplay that we discussed earlier, and overall the gameplay isn't too different and it'll just compound on what you do normally in the game. But Memory of Chaos, and I think the Abyss in Genshin, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, comes back to Zenless Zone Zero in the form of Shiyu Defense, and this game mode seems to give the most amount of polychromes in the game so far. In its simplest form, Shiyu Defense is just fighting waves of enemies with some kind of buff applied to your characters. I accidentally mashed through some text when it was telling me, but I I do think that it's going to be on some kind of reset timer, similar to that of Pure Fiction and Memory of Chaos. But of course, we all know what the true end game is, which is collecting.
collecting their tapes and gems to try and pull for your husbando and waifus, and then of course, getting relics, and more relics, and more relics. Oh. <clears throat> so what do I fully think about Zenless Zone Zero? Is it worth continuing or picking up when it finally does release this year? In short, my answer is yes. I really like the characters, the polish, the OST, the sounds, all of that. The story is the driving force behind the game if you're a lore enthusiast like myself. Combat gameplay is fun and synergistic enough to make it compelling, although the hollow gameplay is a bit lacking in my opinion. In addition, the free to play side of things worries me a little bit, there doesn't seem to be enough rewards there, specifically in those encrypted tapes and polychromes. Overall though, the game doesn't stray too far from what we know and love about our Gasha games already. But for now, I absolutely would suggest playing this game if you do get the chance, as I really have enjoyed my time overall in this beta. I'm super excited that I was finally given the chance to play it, and I'll definitely be covering more Zenless Zone Zero when it does finally release. But let me know what you guys think of Zenless Zone Zero in the comments, and who are your favorite characters, and why is it Billy Kid? I would love to hear from all you guys, and I can't wait to discuss the game with you all. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe and follow for more Zenless, Honkai, and Gacha games in general, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.